with What's up, everybody? I'm Copper Pitch. Today, we're going to take a look at my top 10 cards from the upcoming Season 1 Trial of the Gods expansion for Gods Unchained. It is finally here. It's going to be released on September 10th, which is one week from today. So without further ado, let's dive in and take a look. Coming in at number 10, we have the Seder Hypnotist from Deception. It is a 2-mana two 2-2. Two, two. At the end of your turn, a random enemy creature goes to sleep. So this is clearly going to fit in very nicely with Sleep Synergy decks. Uh, it, you're effectively getting a free Memory Charm every single turn, which is saving you 2 mana, and it's not buffing your opponent, so there's no real downside. Um, unfortunately for Sleep, there are some anti-Sleep Synergy cards coming out in Season 1, which we may see later, so we'll have to see how effective Sleep remains going forward. Coming in at number 9, out of the War Corner, we have a 6-mana, 3-6 Olympian, Here to Kiss Brazen Hero. At the end of your turn, if this creature is in your hand, it gains plus 1 strength. Roar, this creature deals damage equal to its strength to an enemy creature. So this looks to be a hero of the Onslaught War Control decks as the main idea is just hold your opponent off for as long as possible with as few cards as possible. Oftentimes you'll see these decks holding eight, nine cards going into the seven and eight mana range. So if you draw this card early, you draw it around five mana even, even if you draw it late, if you hold it for at least three or four or five turns, you're dealing five damage when you play this. It's gonna gain strength as well, equal to however many turns you're holding it. Ultimately, you're going to deal probably 5 damage on average to an unsuspecting creature while also playing an 8-6 six, six cost card. In 8th place, we have a magic card, 3 cost, form of unity. Deal 2 damage to a character for each friendly creature on the board. The keyword here being character, meaning you can deal this damage directly to your opponent's face. That means on turn one, you can play an expectant chicken, bag, play a card shark. Then turn two, play a bag, form of unity, and you can deal eight damage right to your opponent's face. Imagine running a couple copies of form of unity. Imagine running a couple copies of magic inks, which allows you to clone spells. That's going to make for a very potent and obnoxious magic deck. Coming in in seventh place, we have the veteran hoplite. Coming in from the Light God, he's a 1-mana 2-6 Olympian. This guy has a Roar that deals 4 damage to himself. So, he's ultimately coming out as a 1-cost 2-2, two two, but with the ability to be a 2-6 with some healing. Luckily, Light's got plenty of healing. One such card is a 1-cost Healing Insight spell, which gives a friendly creature plus 2 health and fully heals it. So on turn one, you can play a Veteran Hoplite, Bag, Healing Insight, and you now have a 2-8 creature on turn one. Good luck with that. In sixth place, we've got an Ironclad Minotaur. He is neutral. He's a six cost, five, six, protected, roar, give ward to your god, remove sleep from each friendly creature. Did somebody say, I hate sleep? Well, this guy is going to be your savior. He is going to be in every single deck that is playing past six mana because this will remove sleep from every creature when a Demogorgon pops out. It's going to give ward to your god, which is going to protect you from cutthroat insight and other obnoxious deception cards. This is basically the deception buster right here. Oh, and did I mention he's a 5-6 with protected? Coming in at number 5, did someone say Onslaught War? Might makes right a war card. 4 cost spell, give each creature in your hand plus 2, plus 2, and leech. So, Onslaught, who's going to be holding 90% creatures, who can easily make their hand very wide. They're going to play this, have maybe 6, 5 creatures in their hand. They all get plus 2, plus 2 and leech. Oh, and they also have deadly because it's onslaught. Coming in at number four, we have a neutral card. Helios Illuminator, seven cost, six, six with ward. Roar, draw a card. 
Give plus one, plus one to each other friendly creature and remove sleep from them. Didn't we just see a six cost card that removes sleep from all of your creatures? Thank you, Immutable. This is a godsend to anyone who does not like running into Demogorgons. This is the answer you've been waiting for. In addition, it's got Ward and it's a 6-6. Six, six. Not bad. In third place, we have Dionysus the Bountiful, a 9-mana nature card. It is an 8-8. Eight, eight. Roar, add 9 random nature cards to your hand and set their costs to 1. Deal 6 damage to each enemy character. That means it's going to wipe out the whole board and also hit your opponent right in their face for 6 damage. It's also an 8-8. Eight, eight. Did I mention you draw 9 nature cards and you set their cost to 1? This card seems to be quite broken. However, it seems like Immutable does not want people spending 45 minutes playing games anymore. For that, I give a thumbs up. But that means you're going to play against Nature Control and you're going to have to win before 9 mana or you lose. Coming in in number 2, we have another busted Nature card, a 5 cost Relic, 2-4 Jaguar Staff. It's got Blitz. After your god attacks, summon a Black Jaguar. That would be a 3-3 three, three with 1 regen Black Jaguar they're talking about there. And you get to do that four times for 12-12 worth of stats with 4 regen. You also get to hit with the Relic for 2 times 4. That makes 8 damage. You get all this for the low, low price of only 5 mana, but only if you act now because this is definitely getting nerfed. And coming in at the number one spot, we have Death with an 8 cost spell, Trial of the Underworld. Pull a random 5 mana creature from either void to your side of the board. Repeat this for 6, 7, 8, and 9 mana. This card is so busted I don't know where to begin. First of all, it's not legendary, so you can have two of these bad boys in your deck. Second of all, it's only 8 mana, not a 9 mana card. This can be played pretty early, it can be played pretty often, because you can have two of these bad boys in your deck. Third of all, it doesn't give any of these creatures solace. So after you play it once and get all these big beefy creatures back, you can do it a second time and get them all back again. And then with Ray's Dead, you can do it a third time. Oh boy. Death Control is really broken, and I hope they have nerfed this before this video airs. If not, you stay safe out there, because we're all going to get... Thanks for watching the countdown. I hope you guys had some fun. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. And leave a comment below about what you think your top 10 is. Where did I miss the mark? Was I correct about all these? We'll see in the future. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.